Welcome to my crib. Welcome, welcome everyone. This is my room and what you're going to see a lot of today is a lot of white, a lot of fur, lots of geometric. You're going to see white, black, and copper mainly and a bunch of wood. So my room is totally me. It's a place where I can totally unwind with my essential oils, with all my candles and with all the stuff I love. So I love elephants, I love wood, I love fur, I love just being cozy as you can see by my outfit today. Um, but yeah, so let's get on to my room tour. Let's start with my favorite piece in my room, which is my bed. Okay, so let's start with my bed. So when you walk into my room, the first kind of statement piece you see is these plaques underneath my bed. So instead of going and spending a lot of money at uh, kind of like a design store to try to find those plaques for your bed. Just make them yourself. So go to kind of a construction place. My dad thankfully owns his own construction business and he always gets equipment delivered on these kind of plaques and then we just stain them through them under my bed. I got this idea off of Tumblr and like Pinterest when you're looking at designing your room and I'm absolutely in love with it. So you'll see that that kind of matches some other things in my room that are wood. So it kind of ties the whole theme together with white and wood and of course fur so this next piece is from pure one obviously it's fake and yeah it's beautiful I love it everything in my room is pretty much white so when you throw in pieces like the fur blanket and then putting as well the plaques underneath it just kind of brings kind of life and kind of like a nature feel into your room it's kind of raw and it's cool so that's that and then what we have next is just my comforter with some white sheets, some white pillows, get some nice big pillows to keep them nice and kind of, they stand out, make kind of a statement and to perch them up, I just stick some other white pillows behind there. And then this beautiful skull uh, pillow here is from Society6. Um, be careful ordering off that website. I did get one thing that was ripped when I got it and the quality isn't amazing. So it's cheap, it's fine, but just be careful of that if you are ordering off there and you're looking for kind of a high quality piece, they're not that high quality. But yeah, and then I have my laptop just sitting here with my marble case, which is from, I think, Windfind? Something like that. Shout out to Chloe Beam, she got that for me. And yeah, so this is my bed. If you wanna go for this look, just make sure you're getting all white bedding, and then you throw a nice statement piece on top, whether that be a nice, cool, um, colored blanket, something like hot pink or something like that, or if you go with fur or something, just make sure you do have something on your bed that's kind of making it stand out and just making it you. So moving down on over here to the side of my bed, let's start off with my side tables, which are amazing. They are white marble and then they have copper legs, which fits my theme perfectly. And right beside my bed, of course, I have some sage essential oils and then I have some marble and wood coasters, which are from Indigo. You can also get them at Chapters. And then I have this little faux plant here, which is from Beauclair. And then over here, we have these beautiful lights hanging from the ceiling and these are from HomeSense. And then we have, let's bring it over here, and then we have a picture frame, which honestly, I think it's from HomeSense. I'm not too sure. It's funny because it says family and I have all my friends and my boyfriend, which everybody's part of my family, so that's okay. And then I have it filled with all the pictures that make me happy and with people that I love. So of course we have our other side of the bed. It has that matching light hanging from the ceiling. We have my five minute journal, which I do every morning and every night. I have some of my other essential oils there, and then I have the essential oil burner, which you just put a candle underneath, put some water, and put some, just a couple drops you need on top, and your room smells nice and beautiful, and helps de-stress, and of course, I want these right beside my bed, because whenever I do feel anxious, I just lay on my bed, take out a book, just relax there, either meditate and have this burning. Okay, so moving on over here, first we have 
this little cabinet here. I don't like any of my clothes showing or whatever, or uh, yeah, just any of my garbage showing. So uh, what I did was got this little cabinet from Ikea, filled it with these four drawers from Ikea as well. They're so cool, I love them. It looks like wood theme with a black trim on them. And I just keep my cords in there, some purses, all your stuff that you don't want visible in your room. Then I have a beautiful little candle here and these two old kind of style milk jugs are from Ikea as well. And then I have a big sand dollar, which I've had forever, no idea where it's from. And then the pillow down over there is also from Society6 and my garbage can is from, I'm pretty sure it's from HomeSense. If I'm mistaken, I'll leave everything down in the description bar. So if you're looking for any of these items, you can just look down there. So this is this kind of section right by the window. The window lets in a lot of light here. It didn't use to because we had to cut down actually some trees outside because we live literally in the middle of nowhere. So let's move on over to my makeup section and my lounge that honestly I never use. So let's go. So moving on over to my makeup section. If you haven't already, check out my makeup collection video. Things have changed since then, like my collection's gone a little bit bigger, but if you want a general idea, then check out that video. But yeah, have all my makeup there, my full mirror, and then we have a chair from Ashley's, and over top to make it a little bit more chic and comfortable, since I'm sitting during makeup all the time, I put this fur rug from Ikea, obviously it's faux on there. So let's bring you a little bit closer up here. We have this geometric thing, which I absolutely love. I love geometric stuff. And this is from HomeSense. The faux plant is from Blue Claire. The candle in the back is from God knows where. The back black candle is the DW, which is kind of cool because that's my initials, Derby Whiting. And that's as well from HomeSense, smells super good. On the other side, we as well have another candle. This is from The Body Shop. This is the vanilla bean one and it smells absolutely amazing. And then we have a little Buddha head from Thailand. So let's move on over now to my comfy section that I don't use. So this is my comfy section that nobody really uses. I probably don't need these chairs here, they're totally just for decoration, but they're from Ikea. And then I have a little white pillow here, and then I just have this glass vase with some rocks in there, um, and some of them say like hope and some little quotes on there. And then I have this little memory box that my boyfriend Ian got me and we just have some fun things in there from our trip, little notes he's given me before, he, uh, he didn't tell me this but on my 19th birthday every bar we went to he um, grabbed coasters from there and then he wrote little things on them and what we did at that bar and just good times that we had. So. I have some shells, I have some stuff from Vegas, some bracelets that we got on our vacation, more notes, yeah, it's cool little things, our passport pictures that we got taken in Laos trying to get into Vietnam and they were the ugliest thing in the whole world. Maybe I'll do an up close on that one. <laughs> so ugly, but yeah, this is my little section here and let's move over there. So over here we have this drawer set with all my, well not all, I have a huge closet over there, but with some of my kind of PJs and just some comfy clothes in here that I always kind of tend to grab at. And then, so this is from Ashley Furniture. My whole set was Ashley Furniture and it is kind of an off-white kind of cream and my walls are white which kind of looks bad, but also if you can see over here the trim is still kind of an off-white so it kind of ties everything in together and yeah so one day I'll end up painting this white and painting the trim white but there's never a right time to kind of film a room tour because you're always kind of adding things okay so let's show you where my decorations are from yeah I don't have a picture in there I still need to put a picture in there I printed off pictures but too lazy to refilm this so I have a nice wood frame which is from HomeSense or from Winners or Home Sense, one of the two. You can find wood frames like anywhere. And then I have this little candle holder, which is as well from Home Sense. This is as well from Home Sense as well. An elephant. I absolutely love elephants. Even before I went to Thailand, um, my dream well, on my bucket list was to ride an elephant. But then once I grew up, I 
I haven't even really grown up, but once I got a little bit older, I understood that riding elephants is absolutely horrible. And so when we did go to Thailand, we just got to like pet them and give them baths and feed them and just kind of play with them. And they weren't enclosed or anything. They could run away if they wanted to. So they wanted to be with us, which was kind of nice. So I have a million elephant things, um, mostly in my common area there, but I love elephants. Moving on. Then we have this little geometric thing, which is from Boucler. This candle, which is kind of marbly, and this is from Blue Care again. And then this is from Home Sense. And then right over here, we have my hamper, which is from Home Sense as well, has an elephant on it. And through this door, I have my walk in closet, which I also have kind of. Kind of a closet tour, kind of slash how to kind of work with your closet, um, no matter how big it is, no matter how small it is, how to kind of organize it. So I'll leave that video down below as well. But guys, I think this is my whole room tour. So just kidding guys, I actually have two more things to show you. I didn't really show you the art in my room, I only have two things and the first one, it says Whiting Way and actually Ian like right after we started dating, it was my birthday and he didn't know what to get me. And then he drove past every day something, a sign that said Whiting Way. And so he actually took down the sign and he wrote like a huge paragraph on the back um, telling me how much he loves me and just some fun times that we'd already had together. So I have that hanging up on my wall. And then I also have my picture behind my bed, which I'm absolutely in love with. And it's just that cow skull to match the skulls on my pillow here. And that is as well from Blue Clay. There. Okay guys, so that was my room tour. I hope you guys pulled some inspiration or found some new ideas what you'd like to do with your room. I start off my room being a ballet room. It was, everything was pink, everything had ballerinas on it from my garbage can to my chairs to my bedding. Everything was ballerina and it just didn't inspire me anymore. So now my room completely inspires me. It represents who I am as a person and I love being in my room now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down to my channel if you aren't already. I post a couple videos a week so you can follow my journey on YouTube and get to know me a little bit better. But yeah, now you guys know what my room looks like and uh, we'll see you in my next video. Bye. Trying to get yourself in focus problems and...